you guys, Joe, she is. So, uh, a couple months ago, you know, I was watching Spongebob like I normally do. And in that Spongebob episode, Spongebob is, uh, I think he's, like, helping Mrs. Puff or something like that. Change, like, flat tire. And he's, like, going through a whole bunch of tools. And he's, like, this, 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 wrench, wrench. And then he's, like, hammer, hammer. Jack wrench, wrench, hammer, hammer, hammer. Okay. I would say about a month or so ago, depending on when I saw that episode of Spongebob, I found this hammer at a thrift store with this handle that I'm going to try to reuse because it's not too bad uh, and then uh, just a couple of days ago I found hammer number two which was a fiberglass handle which was a real pain to get that off because the fiberglass handle is kind of messed up and stuff that's besides the point so I already cleaned these up so I kind of spared you guys from the kind of the, the super boring of me just using the file and stuff like that and filing this so basically you could see the both these hammers are different this one is actually cast iron as you can see by all these these void or not void but imperfections in the casting and plus since it's cast iron it's more brittle because this is busted I, I fixed this up a little bit you can see I did you know I filed it you can see all the areas where I did do a file I cleaned all the rust off too and then you can see it clean that up a bit. All those little <laughs> those little things there are all imperfections in the casting. And then this one, uh, I forget. I don't know if this is just machined or I don't know if they have... Uh, Y'all are going to have to let me know because this is like not my expertise. But you can clearly see that there's lines here. That is not from me sanding. That is from it either being, I think, pressed in the form. I don't know. I've seen videos where, like, they get the steel and then they, they stamp, press it or something like that. But I don't know how they would do that with uh, that there. Uh, this has, like, the letter P there. I don't know what that means. But, uh, yeah. You could see this one. Yeah, this one I didn't have to do much at all, really, because you could see the difference and or why I like non-cast because you could see I filed for quite a long time and there was no I'm like I did do the realization of yeah I'm not gonna be getting all these out because that's just gonna take way too much time and it's gonna take way too much off this is I think the 16 ounce and this is 14 ounce I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna prep these I'm gonna do the, the blue wing liquid so I'm gonna make these both black and rust proof and I'm gonna do this one first wait let me put this in frame so you can kind of see let's see if we'll be able to see it turning black or not yeah, it ain't gonna turn black immediately but you'll start to see you'll start to see it oh yeah look at that side Oh yeah, you can kind of see the contrast there. Oh yeah, I can see it going. And this side. See, look at that. That's pretty cool. And this is for like uh, uh, rust proofing, which is not really necessary, but I just, you know, it kind of is a cool, I guess, black look to it. Stuff smells awful. I don't know. I can't even explain what this what this kind of smells like. It just smells like an awful kind of smell. So now we're gonna do the what is the cast iron kind of kind of one here. So let's see. Let's see if there's a better react. Oh, let's see. Let me move a little closer here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of you're starting to see a little reaction going on there yeah I already can see that the liquid is contaminated by improper storage by my dad I think because that is supposed to oh yeah look at it there it goes Here, let me get yeah I'm staying far enough away from this stuff and yes, I am, I guess, in a well-ventilated kind of area. It smells, almost smells like an eggs, like rotten egg kind of smell. If I had to, uh, you know, 
explain the exact kind of what this smelled like. Yeah, and you definitely want to be wearing gloves for this. That's why I'm wearing gloves. So, so I think we're good for both of these. Yeah, so we're good now. All right, so I'm going to definitely wash the excess of this stuff off just so I guess even finish because there definitely was extra of uh oh yeah I can definitely see in the water here that's good I'll put that one there and then this one next I think this was like improperly stored or something because like this has like a rainbow effect I'll show you on camera in a second you see what I mean wait wait let me show kind of on camera see that weird rainbow <laughs> That weird rainbow effect. I'm going to try to dry these off as best as possible. And then oil. There'll definitely be a lot of cuts in this. Probably just me talking or something. Because, like, I guess that's not the most interesting. Oh, and when you're putting the hammers in oil, it really doesn't matter what oil. Well, the cooking oil or any type of oil is fine. Yeah, so now... You know, I just put them in oil for about, was it like 12, 24 hours is kind of, kind of the key here. Boom. And yeah, and I put it in this pan because I've had incidents where tins like this have leaked and then I come back and there's like oil everywhere and I'm like, oh boy. They definitely are darker than they started with, but yeah, I guess I'll be back next scene with like the, the handles and stuff. All right, so here they are. Uh, okay, that looks better now in the lighting now, but, like, look at, there's, like, some weird rainbow effects on it. This is kind of rust, uh, proof. I don't know what the heck of that is at the end there. You're probably like, where's that tub? Yeah, guess what? The tin leaked. I'm so thankful I had that, you know, paint tray, because then I would have had oil to clean up everywhere. So, as you can see here, this is, you know, the one end, and then this I spent about an hour on, and this finally fits this hammerhead. Here's what I call a mess. Yeah, so this was not from this. This was from something else I was trying to fix. It had, like, an uneven bottom. So, yeah, the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put, you know, wood wax on the handle, mainly because it's going to give it, like, a nice color when I put wood wax on specific wood let's see oh man that is that reflection is reflecting so look at there it is and then there is yeah see see you already can see kind of a, a different uh it's like too bright almost see look at there's dull and there's more that's kind of that's kind of the reason why i like doing this the wood wax because it gives it kind of a nice color oh man yeah that really is bringing that uh nice color yeah, I had to sand, like, all the paint and stuff off of it, so that kind of sucked. But there we go. Yeah, see how, yeah, I yeah, see the nice reflection now, and then there's, there's what it used to be, and then there's that. Here's the problem, or, no, here's what I was going to do. Normally, you know, you, uh, wrote wrong end, that's the other. Normally, you, like, cut a notch, put a hammer in, put a wedge here. Uh, I'm actually kind of afraid of this breaking and since I'll be using these hammers like rarely because this is like kind of a novelty thing I'm making and or I will I will use these hammers the, the the hammer hammer it's just not for normally like the way you use hammers like all the time and stuff like that point being is I'm actually going to resin in the hammer heads on both ends as you can see here I actually don't know how this was actually attached because there's no notch in the top, so this is weird. So you can see this is a problem. I'm going to lock this in, center it like this, and then pour resin because, you know, the inside of this hammer here, I did sand, and you can see a whole bunch of divots. Thankfully, this, this is the cast iron one. This will work perfectly because the resin will go into all those tiny grooves and hold the hammer in place, which will work out perfectly. And this end is similarly, it's similar, you can see. So this goes on to there like that, and it kind of wedges there. So as you can see there, I actually, when I was drilling out the handle, I did make gouges, which again will actually work perfectly because the resin will go all in there in that the thing that I'm going to have to make sure of is I'm gonna really have to tape up this with like, I think the aluminum tape. I will, the next shot you'll see is, uh, it'll probably be all done and then I'll explain like if any weird stuff happened. So, uh, yeah, almost done. 
So I did like what I said. I did, you know, the resin and stuff like that. I was going to clean this up, but like you can see it doesn't look that bad. And if I do sand this, I'm going to most likely rub off a lot of this, this bluing and stuff like that. You could see too, you know, I used the aluminum tape and then I hot glued it because I really didn't want the resin dripping through and then having resin and stuff. So I did that with both ends. So that's what it looks like already. It looks kind of silly already. But yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I wonder if magnets mess with like newer technology. There's a really strong magnet there. I honestly, before I did the one side, I was like, man, how am I going to hold this in place, make sure it doesn't move? And then, you know, the old saying, work uh, smarter, not harder. So I was like, hmm, I'm like, I could use some sort of magnet. And I was like, oh yeah, I have my, you know, I forget what this is, my angle thingy there, so I put that in the vise, and then boom, boom, boom. I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to sand this off, so yeah, I'm going to figure out what to do. I'm going to, like, clean this up, and then, uh, yeah, you know, that thumbnail shot, or that shot that I'll use for, like, the thumbnail, like this, like this, this kind of shot, like that, or even like this, hammer, hammer. So I, you know, filled it with resin, but as you can see there, there are still gaps. So the resin I used was extremely thick. You can see there that it doesn't seem like, unless I made the handle, like, fit really snugly. So you can see here, too, that uh, I did go ahead and clean this all off, except for that, because, like I said, I didn't want to file that down, because then it would mess up the, uh, the bluing. This end here... Kind of the same thing. Oh, one thing too that I wanted to ask uh, any like carpenter or something. When I got this hammer, you'll notice there is no line cut in this uh, in this handle. Because normally, obviously, when you get a new handle for a hammer, you know, you cut that notch, put the wedge in, hammer that down, wood glue, and that holds the handle in place. I don't know if it was a different technique used, but I have never seen a hammer head like put in like this and I think all that was done was like wedges were here on the side and that was it and it was very loose because this just like popped off and another thing to point out is I tried to get this as level as possible in an ideal world this would supposed to be touching like that but i don't know what happened because i made sure it was all level and stuff you saw my setup but yeah imagine you're like normally you'd be like oh what do you have a normal hammer you'd be like no hammer hammer <laughs> That's still so weird, though. Like, uh, again, this was entirely inspired by SpongeBob. So, uh, if this video gets enough likes and stuff like that, I might use this as a normal hammer. It's just I don't want to kind of destroy any of this work that I did on this. And since this is just going to be like a novelty, I don't know how far down the resin went. I did push the resin down into there, so. But there it is. There it is. All done. Hammer, hammer. It's like, oh, you want this side of hammer? The thing, too, is, uh, let me see where, like, the center of, uh, the thing is, you know, when you put your, uh, your finger to balance. It's almost like it's, like, right, yeah, it's almost like it's right there, so you can see it's kind of not perfectly centered, but then again, this handle is thicker on this end, and this, I should have swapped the hammer heads to balance it out, but that's alright. So, like, this, it's actually, the balance is pretty good. And then when we swap to here, you can definitely tell there's more weight there. But yeah, that is, that's that. But yeah, anything else from that Spongebob episode, which I think Wrench Wrench or something like that, which I think does exist already. So, uh, yeah. If there's any funny tools from Spongebob, uh, y'all want, oh, that is hot. I forgot that, you know, was it the old incandescent bulbs? get hot immediately and I oh man that is actually already getting hot so yeah let me get one last kind of thumbnail shot there so that's about it ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching I think that's it because I don't uh I can't think of like anything else so yeah thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen Hammer hammer and just like always, ha pa pa pass. Video's over and done, so I don't know what you Whoa 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 whoa. Uh, uh what is this? Uh, I'm supposed to be saying that? Yeah, I know, but I'm you. Yeah, I so... know you're me and I'm also me and Oh you're what's happening me, there, Josh? Are you getting mesmerized yeah, or something? Wait, 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 wait a second. That that's my word. That's my word. I say that word. Okay, you know what? That's it. That's it. Don't close it. So yeah, the video's over. So yeah, I'm talking to the same here. So yeah.